and wherever you're watching from around the world we are live from our studios here in lagos nigeria i am kelly Egiga. let's get things started now in ogun state as the tax force team on covid19 on sunday visited some churches to monitor the level of compliance following government's guidelines now, leading the delegation commissioner for culture and tourism in the state dr toy taiwo says the government is not out to harass anyone but to ensure residents comply with government's regulations. A correspondent in that state, John Felix, reports. After about five months, churches in Ogun State are now reopened for worship. In the penultimate week, Governor Dakbo Abiodo announced the reopening of worship centers subject to the guidelines of the safety measures. When we went down around Abelkuta, we observed that there is adherence to social distancing, mandatory use of face masks with temperature checks being conducted at church entrances. Speaking with newsmen, leader of the delegation, Dr. Tony Taiwo, expressed satisfaction on the compliance level thus far. He says government effort is in the best interest of residents of the state. We are not harassing anybody because we know they have come to worship God. And once they are worshipping God, they'll be praying for the state. I want the state to also, you know, be developing and be doing something good. So the whole essence why we are here is to make sure that people comply with the guideline. The fixed marks is compulsory. The washing of the hand is compulsory. In the absence of a running water, you have your sanitizer there. And the social distancing must be observed. You understand? So it is key so that we'll be able to make sure we flatten the curve. Apart from that, to curb the community spread. For these clerics, they say all measures have been put in place to meet the guidelines of the COVID-19 safety measures at their respective churches. They also want government at all levels to continue with massive awareness and enlightenment programs. Now if you look around, to maintain social distancing, we already put these particular marks down so that people will queue up as they come to church. That one will teach decency. You know, in the days of old, we had why by the former government, whereby you are trained to key up. People don't do that. This is one of the advantages of COVID-19. Now to people to be orderly. So you come to church orderly, you key up. I think that apart from these fiscal measures we are doing, our country needs prayer. Let us spend more time to pray for this country because we may be, we, our solution is not only physical. We need spiritual solution too. So people of God should spend time to pray for this country. Government should please try to enlighten the public and then enforce, I mean, done enforcement. Then at the same time, the, the government should provide the necessary things for the people. Speaking on the Camera Act 2020, they described the law as anti-church and one that cannot stand. It is anti-Christ. I can say it anywhere. Anti-Christ and anti-church. Antichrist and anti church. The church, every church has registered under the CSC before. For example, our church has registered since 1940 something. Now, and the church has been operating as a as non profiting organization. How do you now put that one under somebody? Now you can now you can now place uh, one uh, cultic man to call to come and remove a pastor from the church. Those people who ask that act. They do not have the good intention for this country. They can, government cannot regulate church because the church does not belong to them. The church belongs to God Almighty. The Christian Association of Nigeria has already spoken. So whatever they say, we follow. We belong to Christian Association of Nigeria. And that the body has already made pronouncements. Uh, we don't have anything that is different from the pronouncement made by the Christian Association of Nigeria. As Christians amid excitement and large turnout worship in various churches across the state, the need to continually stay conscious cannot be overemphasized and be to flatten the curve of the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, that